Okay, it's pistol day again at the range. And I know you're thinking, wow, you sure are making a lot of pistol videos lately. And yes, uh, unfortunately, I am not yet comfortable with my Boberg as a carry option. I'm not shooting very well with it. And so what I'm trying to do is uh, keep, uh, keep comparing it against my other pistols. Uh, that's my Glock 19. My CZ82 and my Colt uh, 1911 70 series uh, just to see what I might be doing wrong with the Bowbird. I give myself a little break uh, for the wind. That's it. <laughs> Why can't I shoot like that with my Boberg? Should have weighted these, uh, weighted them down at the bottom. But you know, see, it's a good, decent group.
Okay, that's actually my best group to date on the Boberg. I'm really kind of surprised at that, so maybe I just need to keep practicing. But you can see it's low to the right. <coughs> I did want to show you one issue I keep running into with these Boberg magazines and that is if that spring gets bunched up in there wrong I can only get six rounds in there. This one has seven. One, two, three, four, six, seven. Seven rounds. This one has six. And you cannot, you can't depress it anymore so that's one thing. I've run into that a couple of times. But I'm going to go ahead and try to see if I can do a little better. doing okay until this happened. These types of failures are hard to work out and I can't get the magazine out. Okay, I'm going to show the entire um, segment of me trying to work this out, and this is not to be negative or bash Boberg. This is just uh, so I can show him what I'm dealing with. Make sure I keep it pointed down range. The thing that bothers me is why I can't get the magazine out. I mean, your first reaction when you have a miss. A uh, malfunction like this, a misfeed, is to remove the source of ammunition. <laughs> and uh, can't quite understand what it's doing in there. Arnie has been good uh, to respond to these types of things. Oh, keep that finger off the trigger. I'm hoping he'll see this and he'll help me work this out because I do want to work it out. I'd love to carry this little pistol. I just can't uh, do it at the moment. It's kind of scary, really. Now, I do want to say about my knife, the usage of, the usage of my knife, in no way did I ever uh, really touch the frame of the pistol that much. I'm mainly just trying to and I'm not really prying here. I know it looks like I am, but I'm not uh, putting that much pressure. On. Damn. <laughs> that, go, that round going off kind of scared me. <laughs> but uh, again, I'm just barely putting some pressure. Trying to, trying to wiggle that round out. I can just hear people going, hmm. I can't believe you stuck your knife in there. This happened once before, and I was able to get it out. I think here's where I was thinking about taking the slide off, and I was trying to get the magazine out. Now, Artie has sent me a uh, an extended, what he's calling an extended mag release, but I think the extended part is on the internal part of the pistol, not the external. I may be wrong about that. Hmm. I haven't put it on yet. I haven't had a chance. That was going to be my next video, actually. There we go. You can see I just barely put pressure. That's why the round didn't fly out, because I was just barely putting pressure on it with the knife. That's odd. I thought the magazine was going to come out after I got that round free. 
well, at least I've eliminated the immediate threat of a, a round going on, hopefully. I really didn't think there was that much of a threat of the you know round going off. I've just never dealt with this before. Uh, you know, I've never had this problem before, so it was a little nerve-wracking. I still think that mag magazine should come out of there. Wondering if I was going to have some sort of slam fire or, you know, so I was careful to keep the thing pointed down range. And I think the only time, yeah, the only time I put my finger on the trigger was when I thought it might release the slide for some reason, and I was careful to keep it pointed down range. And of course, I would have never put my finger on the trigger with that round still in the uh, near the chamber up there or near the firing pin. Now, here's where I'm trying to take it down. I thought if I could get the slide off, but I couldn't even get the slide off because I, and I think it's because the trigger had not been engaged. I'm, I'm not sure. Artie's going to have to just tell me about that one. So I thought, well, I'll try to take the magazine out again. And when I couldn't get the slide off, I decided to, um, you know, put the uh, slide release lever back at its normal position. Here what I'm trying to do, again, I'm not prying on the gun or anything. All the pressure is on the round that was in the top of the magazine. I thought if I was able to push that round down, maybe it was engaged somehow. And if I pushed it down back into the magazine, it would come out. And, and that is nerve-wracking because all of my training... Um, has, you know, I have always been taught to remove the source of ammunition <laughs> from a pistol. Pistol when you have a misfeed or any kind of malfunction. And so, you know, this goes against your grain here, not being able to get that magazine out. Yeah, so finally I decided I was going to take it out <laughs> with force. Well, I was trying to take it out, finagle it out before. I have to send this back. And maybe Arnie can work something over the phone with me, I don't know, but certainly I'm not comfortable carrying carrying it if it's gonna do that. My intent today was to come out and target practice and get better and start to feel more comfortable with this pistol, but I'm gonna to to talk to Arnie about that. Kind of scary. You can't take the magazine out if it gets stuck like that. With the thought of you ramming that forward <laughs> with a round, uh, I was going to take it home and work on it, but I thought I'm not going to have a accidental discharge in my house, so I, that's why I did it here at the range. So, <laughs> well, it was a little warm, and. Uh, To be honest with you, I'm not that happy. I mean, I'm happy about my Glock, my Colt 1911, my CZ82, all those I shoot well with. But that, uh, the Bowberg is gonna have to be, something's gonna have to give. And uh, I know Arnie will help me work it out, but, <clears throat> excuse me. I don't mind if I have misfeeds or malfunctions. But I need to be able to clear them quickly. Not, uh, not like that. I'm not sure how many minutes went by. I'll check the video. I'm not sure if I'll show the whole thing of me trying to clear it. But um, we'll see. I'll see how long of a video it makes it. But anyway, I'm sure, uh, and I'm not bashing Bo Berg. Uh, certainly not, I, I like the pistol. I just have to get comfortable with it 
before I can carry it. Right now, it's a novelty. I don't want it to be a novelty. I want to be able to carry the thing. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you.